Good morning and good evening whenever you see this. We are going to do the daily 11. <laughs> just pay attention to 11. I just realized I don't think I got the other real ring in. I put the daggers in again that you guys saw in the unboxing. Hmm. Where are you, dagger? Oh my god, the dagger is here. Well, <laughs> mm hmm. Well, look at these. If I'm disturbed, yeah. <laughs> I can't do that without a mirror. Bellino. It's definitely not for everyday use. <laughs> but they have fun. I'm gonna have rose quads on both my hands today. <laughs> what the hell? I'm trying to even just see a little bit of the <laughs> the high priest is the two. <laughs> the hand high priest is the two. Well, we have to wait for summer. You can see the dragon fly. <laughs> Okay, so, so today, as you guys saw, I got this beautiful deck, 222, Oracle from Lily, yesterday, unboxed it, there was a message, so if you want to have a bonus message, go check it out, <laughs> but I think we should let it guide us today, <clears throat> just to see if there's something we need to know for today. I have heard from a lady or was it a guy on Instagram that there's a lot of energies going on right now and apparently it's not because of Mars retrograde and it's not because of Mercury retrograde but it's because of something else. That we all feel a little bit tired and we all feel a little bit like poof, overwhelmed and there's a lot of things, ugh, there might be a lot of things that's like cultivating, uh -huh. falling apart, falling together. Well, it's falling apart before it falls together. So if you feel that way, don't you worry. It's meant to happen to bring in the new. What else do we need to know? With that. Ooh, a bridge! She who hopes. That is all of us. Also you males out there. Rana. Ranae. 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 Ooh! Look at this. Love, hope and relationships. And what is the energy of this whole entire week? Well, first of all, wow, just realized that. Well, relationships, but hope. Remember the love reading? There was a lot of the hope thing. And I did talk about that something will be activated later on this week. Which is, well, today. So, yeah. 414 <laughs> Let's see The only thing I'm missing in this deck is that it has like You know 444 by the way Like where you can see Where everything is in the book so you don't have to You know look through it all so Hmm, with the frog below. Oh, I didn't even pay attention to that. Hmm. What? Oh, that's so funny. I just got reminded about that. What did I talk about in a previous reading? I don't know if it was in the love reading, but remember I said you have to kiss many frogs, right? And <laughs> I don't know if you guys paid attention to that, but look at the frog down there. And it says here, you're getting acqu acquainted, <laughs> what is the word, with the frog below. Even through, she's already kissed a few frogs. She's willing to give it one more shot. She does not allow past disappointments to keep her from opening up her heart once again. And this, even through, this is like a very feminine oracle. I said this in the unboxing as well. Blew up, by the way. Spirit guides. On the earth. Even if you are a guy, it's just your feminine energy. That's the nurturing energy. So even through that you have kissed many frogs, male or females, and even if there has been disappointments and heartbreak in the past, you're not going to let that stop you. 
And also this being connected with hope. It's also disappointments in, well, life in general, I guess, like with work, with friends, with family, maybe with money, whatever. You're not letting that stop you. You're not letting the, these past disappointments stop you from opening up your heart once again. But if you're single, or if there is trouble in paradise, <laughs> her crown shows she knows herself to be a queen already. For you males, you know that you are a king. <laughs> king. The emperor and the empress. You have no reason or no need to be completed by anyone else because you are complete. But there is a lot of room in your life at the moment for a partner. And even if this is very much love, <laughs> you can also take this as like a new company or a new friend or something, right? Yeah. So there's questions here. What have I learned from past relationships? Question mark. What have you learned from past relationships or from the relationship that you are in now? That you're working on, even if it might not be the most stable at the moment. Maybe there is a lot of healing going on. Maybe there has been disappointments. Maybe there has been fights. I mean, whatever, right? Like, what have you learned from that or previous relationships? If this is about work, what have you learned from that? What kind of partner will stand beside you? Once again, in love or career or like friends. Like, what kind of friends do you want to have in your life now? A home or whatever. Money. <laughs> what kind of money do you want? What am I doing to attract the kind of love I deserve? Are you being honest? Are you being open? The same with friendships, the same with whatever else. Are you hiding yourself? Because then you will attract that back. I think that's something we have to learn. And maybe that's also why this week is all about relationships. Because the energy we put out is what we attract. It's the energy we get back. And it's a very important lesson, people. Okay? Cadillac like Grease. Look at the sun. And she's on the bridge, you know, and she's on the, actually, I yeah, she's just having a little chat with the frog before that, the real frog, 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 <laughs> or what? <laughs> the real whatever comes along, right? If it's a friend or whatever. What is it for you? I really want to have the earrings he's wearing. These are beautiful. If I find a man. <laughs> when I find a man. If I find a uh, man. See, what energy do you put out, Sandra? When I find my man. <laughs> He shall buy me <laughs> these earrings. <laughs> yes. Oh, we have a lot of air going on here. So there might be something with an air sign for some of you, but it could also just be this energy of being truthful with yourself. Like, what is it that you want? Kings are action takers. So you're, what are you taking action on? If it's work, are you taking action on the projects that you want to put out? Or are you hiding yourself? Are you being logic? But also, are you using your heart or following your heart? And now we have a king of the pentacles. So again, are you being practical? Are you uh, seeing the growth? What are you choosing? Some of you guys, you have chosen something, but you might not have taken action. No matter if it's love or if it's about hope, whatever it is that's activated for, uh, activated for you, <laughs> And I saw the, um, I don't know where it is now, in the second pile, we had the, the three, no, the ten of wands reversed. So again, the burdens <coughs> has been let go of. This will make hard. Mixing memories, maybe there's something about memories or doing something from the past. Um, recreating something from the past no matter if it's work or whatever it is but again soulmates people in general relationships maybe there is 
like if this is not about law for you maybe there is a very important business partner coming into your life co-worker what is the same is it is it, <laughs> is it? <laughs> A boss or a company or something it's like you are actually being pushed into the right direction no matter what it is but some of you guys you have to just stop up and talk with the frog <laughs> the frog is the frog the frog is the frog that asks you the questions that we just spoke about before so with that <laughs> two nights <laughs> They're facing each other, so whatever this is, it like it comes together and creates adventure and passion, ambition, love. It's good news. It's nice, <laughs> very loving. They're back. There is an offer coming today. If it's love or if it's career, it's like. It's everything you want. For some of you guys, there might be something with people from other countries. There might be something with immigration or travel, um, adventures, maybe going on adventures, maybe dating if you're in a relationship. Just spice it up a little bit. <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> maybe some of you guys need to choose between two people <laughs> because we do have two nights, don't we? Maybe there's two job opportunities or. Uh, Whatever, but for for others of you, if that doesn't resonate, it's simply this energy of like this is what comes to you. Like both these energies are yours, and it's something that's very long term. It's stable. It's nice. There's a lot of abundance. It brings you more abundance. Maybe you're going to work with this person if it's love. Who knows? We've spoken about that before. We have the air back. We have the airbag, and actually, the hope! Look at that. <laughs> what else do we need to know? I'm gonna try to make it very simple. How adorable is this? It's a <coughs> Maybe someone is a little insecure, a little, a little careful. Someone doesn't want to be awkward if it's you or if it's someone else. But you guys actually bring both entities to the table. It could actually be your entity and the other person's entity. If it's work or if it's love, whatever the hell it is, I do not care. It's coming your way. Okay? This could be your entity. Like, if this comes your way, right? If there's a lot of passion coming your way, you might be like, yeah. And then you might be like, ooh, am I good enough? Then you start asking yourself questions. <laughs> you're finding the nearest frog and you're asking the frog questions instead of answering the questions. <laughs> asking yourself the questions and answering them. There's something brand new here, but there is for some reason... Ah. Mm. <laughs> Get it. What did we just speak about? I have been through a lot. Do I want to go through this again? Can I go through this again? Do I have enough strength, enough whatever willpower to go through this again? And yeah, like you have to start at some point, right? Or that's somewhere. Or whatever it is. Don't be so shy. Don't be so afraid. There's a lot of magic coming your way. And I say this no matter if it's love or if it's a career. There's a lot of people who want to work with you. There's a lot of people who want to be around you. People really admire you, love you. They love your energy. But some of you guys, you, it's like you look at it, you like it, <laughs> you are excited about it, but at the same time you're also being a little like, but I have been through a lot. Like, I have scars, I, you know, I have wounds, I have, well, yeah, I have wounds that no one knows. Maybe you need to speak about them because then the wounds are blossoming and they're turning into other things. Also, if it's career and work, maybe you've been bullied. Maybe this is like back from, oh, back from, because this is a memory card as well. Maybe this is something that's like from school, right? That you got bullied or something like that. So it's something you have dragged with you throughout your career. You're afraid that people are speaking behind your back or people are like, talk, yeah, like nagging on you or whatever. 
And yeah, you might have attracted that, but it's because that it's wounds that are not being created in any way. Does that make sense? It's the same with love, right? Like I've been cheated on. Or my ex-boyfriend or girlfriend told me that I was uh, not good enough or that I should get a life or like um, whatever. Like, mm, who do you think you are? You are everything <laughs> and more. And that is the truth. Yeah. Don't be so defensive. Don't get to this point. Because if you get to this point, it also means that you are not really seeing where you're stepping. You're not seeing what's in front of you. And maybe that is like, you're looking at something else that, that hurt you in the past. You don't even see. You don't even see the pain coming with the fish. <laughs> you're not even paying attention to it. You are so busy looking into the future with past wounds. Does that make sense? You don't even see the page. Because of this. Yeah, this is something like whatever this is. <laughs> the hermit is back. Whatever this is, it's stable. It's something that, yeah, it m might take time to open up to certain aspects of projects or people. Also, if it's love. Whatever it is that you're healing, it might take time, but it will have so many rewards. You have to let go of this. I think that's today. You know what? I will post this today already. <laughs> Hello. Now I'm Danish. <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> anyway, thank you. With that, have a magical lovey-dovey day with offers and magic. And again, just pay attention to the love offers or someone who might be a little sweet with you or yeah, I think you guys need to pay attention to that in a situation and it could be that you like, I don't know, if you have your own company, maybe it's a customer <laughs> who's complimenting you, right? But you're not seeing it, you're not seeing it that way because you're busy thinking about being perfect or doing this or doing that or if it's someone who's flirting with you, you're just Maybe you're mending a broken heart or you're just thinking about an ex or something you don't even see what's in front of you. My love, <laughs> eyes front, eyes front, eyes front. Yeah, whatever that, whatever it means. Pay attention and I'll see you guys tomorrow for the weekend reading. Bye.